Hey YouTubers, Pastor Bob NCC. Hey listen, I just wanted to take a couple minutes to talk to you about something. You ever thought about the Book of Life? You know, the Book of Life is in the Bible. We've talked about quite a bit. The Bible's got quite a bit to say about it. But listen, this is what it is. You all remember uh, David and Goliath, right? You know, David slung the rock, hit Goliath in the head, went up, cut his head off with a sword. You know, that, that David. Well listen, at one point, uh, David had a, an affair with this lady named Bathsheba, and then he sent her husband off to be murdered so they wouldn't get found out about. Well, anyway, lo and behold, uh, she got pregnant, and they had a child, and God told him that because of that sin, the child was going to die. So David, uh, you know, he really got upset. He fasted and prayed for the child, and lo and behold, the child is born and, and indeed dies. And uh, everyone came to David and said, hey, you know what, how come you're not all upset now when you were a minute ago? And the bottom line of the story is David says, hey, one day I will go to the child, but the child will never return to me. And what he was saying is, is that child went to heaven and I will go there to be with him one day. So listen, what that means is that every single child's name is in the book of life. It is. I believe that the book of life, that the minute you're conceived, the moment of conception, God opens up this book and he writes your name in it. Now listen, that's the good part. The bad part is in the book of Revelation, Jesus says, to him who overcomes, I will never blot out or erase his name from the book of life. And then uh, in the book of uh, John it says, hey, who is it that overcomes the world? Only he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. That's what John writes. That's who overcomes the world. He who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. And that word believes means literally not just a head knowledge, it means a heart knowledge to make him the Lord of your life. And you know, I looked up that word uh, erase or blot out in the Greek, and what it literally means is it's God's going to take a sharpie, go to his book, and if you never accept him, if you live your life the way you want to live it, and he's going to take, and he's just going to erase your name right out of the book of life. Just like that. Gone. Done. Hopeless case. Now this is the bad part. It doesn't end there. All right, listen. It also says in the book of Revelation that everyone whose name was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire where they will be tormented day and night forever and ever. That's what it says. When you look at the parable of the sower, the parable of the sower, only one person in four actually gets saved. And of those only one out of three who think they're saved, people who think they're born-again Christians, only one out of three actually are. I mean, look at it. Look at the parable of the sword. Read it for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Listen. The book of life. Your name went in this book the day you were conceived. Now you have a choice to make. You're going to stay in it or you're going to get your name removed. Listen, I don't really know what your philosophy is. I don't know what your beliefs are. But whatever it is, you need to stop, take a look at it, and think, hey, where is this path I'm on taking me? Where is it taking me? Listen, have you ever just read the Bible? Just picked it up and read it. And if you say, well, I can't understand it. Well, then go get a modern translation. And true, they're not near as accurate as, as the King James, but get yourself a modern translation and just read the story. I mean, anybody can understand it. It's a no-brainer. Listen, heaven and hell. Eternity with God in heaven, your creator, or eternity in hell in fire and brimstone with a bunch of demons that hate you so much they will just literally take satisfaction out of tormenting you for all of eternity. Listen. Let's, let's, let's think about this. Heaven with God for eternity or hell with Satan and his host for eternity. You know what? I mean, what do you say? Duh. Duh. Which one? My friend, choose your path well. 
because once you take your last breath, it is a done 